we did all this work to install a compiler on Windows and to install a compiler on Linux. Just what is a compiler anyway? A compiler is a program that converts human readable instructions into computer readable instructions one time. A compiler takes longer generally because it rearranges or compiles or optimizes what is then called object code. We're going to learn how to write a lot of uh, different instructions and statements and functions and things like that. And they're not necessarily going to be in the best order for the computer. They'll be in the best order for us to think about how things should work, but the computer may have uh, a better idea. And it knows, the compiler knows, what it takes to make better machine executable code. And that's what it's going to do for us. An interpreter is a program that converts the source code or human instructions into the machine instructions each time you interpret or run the particular program. An interpreter starts interpreting each of the instructions, go to here or print this or take input from the keyboard. It interprets those immediately and appears to produce results more quickly. However, the interpreted program will almost always be slower than a compiled output or compiled program. An, er an interpreter is very good for reviewing the functionality of a program with your customer. And you can sit down with them and say, what if we change it like this? And what if we do that? Is that more what you want? So it's very good for development reviews. When we're compiling, the source code goes into the compiler. It is optimized and turned into uh, some standard code that the compiler has uh, within it, which produces object code. Now, the object code cannot run by itself. The object code generally needs to load DLLs, dynamic load libraries, or other code that is necessary for the program to actually function. We don't need to write all the operating system programs over and over and over again, so there are libraries of that code already created that will be linked in with our program. And, of course, to do that, we use a linker. A linker takes the standard libraries, our object code that we created from our compiling process, and any user libraries that we might have made uh, or our company might have made. Uh, a number of uh, programs that uh, get used uh, a lot to maybe run a piece of machinery that our company uh, has created or something like that. All of those libraries and object code get linked together by the linker, and that produces an executable program something uh, usually in the Windows world that ends with .exe that we can actually run on our computer and cause some work to be performed, which is why we're learning how to do this. So to recap, a compiler, the program we've just installed, is going to take our C programming instructions and it's going to turn them into object code. The link step is then going to link our object code with some standard libraries that already exist and produce an executable code. So we're going to see all that happen as we do this, but I want you to understand the difference between source code, which is what you can easily read, written in, in a form of English, object code, which is the output of the compiler, and then executable code, which is a combination of object code and other standard libraries and maybe even some user libraries so that we can get an executable program to run. So let's uh, go forward and enter our first program and compile it and link it and execute it. And then I'm going to give you an assignment, a little bit of homework to do.